Hey, Racer fans, it was a big Saturday win for Murray State at home against Tennessee State. It was a beautiful fall afternoon, and we've got it all right here. The Racer Report begins right now. Hi folks and welcome to the Racer Report with Head Coach Chris Hasher. This is Dave Winder with you and this week the Racers hit the road for Eastern Kentucky. It's a game at noon central time on Saturday. Another chance for the Racers to uh, chase this, per uh, this uh, not perfect season, but a winning season if they can win these last two. And that game Saturday is not only on Racer Radio, but it's also on the Racer TV network. Well, I wish it was a perfect season, Coach, but Saturday, uh, the second half there, you played about a perfect second half, certainly. <laughs> well, we did. We sure feel a lot better doing the show now after <laughs> a right. win. It, it seems like it's been a while. You know, we've been close all season. Um, I think we've been preparing well. Our guys have practiced extremely hard. It was just good to see them reap some of the benefits of that hard work. We beat the 18th ranked team in the country in Tennessee State. We did it in a uh, um, in fine fashion. The first half, um, you know, it was you know they got a good team. And the first half, we played well defense. Defense kept us in the ball game. And there in the fourth quarter, boy, we really made some plays and came away with a huge, huge win, much needed win, um, again, to help us try to get to that winning season mark, but more importantly, from the psyche of our team. And they were very excited. I'm very proud of them and the coaches for hanging in there. Well, it was a beautiful fall afternoon at Roy Stewart Stadium. We'll go ahead and roll the highlights and uh, take a look at it. The 40th season about to come to an end here at Roy Stewart Stadium uh, with only one more game left on the home turf. But Coach, uh, uh, this first half was kind of back and forth, and both teams uh, making some hard hits, and it was tough going there for a while. Well, you know, Tennessee State's got great athletes, and, um, they're, you know, again, they're first in the conference, and uh, right off the get-go, Anthony Hayes, a, a wide receiver, we moved to defense three weeks ago, makes a play. We get off the field um, three, three, um, three and out, and um, here's a good, you know, good job by Walter Powell. We knew it was going to be tough. Um, with the way they would kick the ball to get big returns. Um, one thing that I was real proud of is our rushing game. There's Jamal Berry. He had a tremendous day running the ball. All in all, we ran for 286 yards. Um, Which is just, a season high. Oh, but what, and to go against that defense and be able to do that, that says a lot. We move it right down here. We try our old halfback pass. <laughs> We're working. Um, old Josh Brown just waited a little bit too late to throw it. Boy, we come away a great drive, but we come away with no points, and I'm thinking, here we go again. Well, it's 12:01 to go in the first quarter here, and uh, a near interception right there as uh, Daryl Smith made a nice uh, defense of that play. Uh, Michael German, good quarterback for TSU. They hit a lot of those routes uh, where they would catch a guy just underneath, and then he could take off with it. Well, they're tight end. He's a he's a great player. We made a couple adjustments on that play, um, but you know when you're going blitz, you got to stop the run. You you got to give something up, and we went in the game willing to give up that that run. Um, but they, you know, they do a nice job and drive it down the field and get the score. And then on the first play of the Racers' next possession, 6.51 to go in the first quarter, Dwayne Brady hits TSU for 23 yards. It, uh, the Racers uh, very close to having two 100-yard rushers in this game. And then the dump off to Trotter, another 15 yards to the 27. And then uh, the touchdown pass to Powell finally finished off the drive. Yeah, this was a nice play on the screen. Got good blocking out wide and then Walter um, just wills his way in the end zone. Um, great drive, great execution. You know, and the thing about it, we had to make sure we took advantage of our opportunities on offense because their offense was out to melt the clock, take a lot of time off, and the time of possession showed that. Well, 12 plays, 80 yards on that drive, and uh, Coach, that that's uh, odd for you guys, a five-minute drive. I mean... <laughs> well, again, you know, their defense, um, the, the goal going in was to try to wear them down. And, you know, we knew early on in the game it was going to be tough moving. So we tried to play at a real high pace. Um, and then there's a great catch by Navar Griffin. Here's a fourth down play um, where Casey shoves it up in there. We get the first down. Um, however, we come up a little short here in a little bit. Um, we get back to another fourth and two. But... We're close enough for Benton to knock it through, and we go up 10 to 7. Benton has been solid, though. So now we're nearing the end of the first quarter. So the racers kick it off. 
And T. Ray Malone, he, he's really come on. You know, he got a chance to play a few games ago when Huzzy got hurt, and he's been a good one for Yeah, him. he is true freshman, um, and he, he has been playing good. Here we get great pressure on the quarterback. Um, we force him to, to throw it out of bounds. And you know, our defense, boy, they're playing with great confidence right now. Um, and we got a, the other night was big because we got a lot of four-man pressures on the quarterback. And you can see these guys were extremely excited by um, their performance. It was at this part of the second quarter, the racers uh, uh, stalled on their next drive and uh, went for it on fourth and six. And then, uh, then TSU came up with, I guess it was their longest drive of the day, which chewed up 9.31 off the second quarter clock. Yeah, well, this was, you know, we, we end up getting it in just a little bit, um, um, just the tempo of the play didn't work out good. It was a little too far away to punt um, or to kick it, field goal a little too close to punt it. Um, we didn't get it. And, um, you know, the thing about our defense right now is we're not giving up too many big plays. Yeah, I mean, it was like three yards in a cloud of dust. And we were making them work, making them work. And it pays off here in the fourth quarter because they started making some crucial mistakes. There's a great play by Darius Buck um, on the crossing route here. Awesome job. T. Ray Malone blows it up. Um, you know, they got inside the five twice, and we made them go to third down both times. Um, so our guys were playing hard. Um, they come out here, they run the, the naked bootleg, and uh, boy, we played it as good as you could play it. They he, just uh, he zipped they, that ball into well, a little. Well, he pump faked and he threw it. Um, yep. The guy kind of fell back in there and made a big play. You got to give them credit. They executed the play extremely well. Well, the, this was a tight game still. It was 14 10 Tennessee State. Then on the Racers' next drive, this was about three and a half before halftime. Brockman takes off, a beautiful run for 14 yards, and then but then. Uh, the pass was intercepted here, but it was nullified because of a holding. Yeah, well, they had actually, the pass is attempted for um, Pat Robertson there, and they had actually held him um, prior to, to the, the ball being thrown. But and three plays later. Yep, yeah. look at Jamal Berry, boy, great move, good That's blocks beautiful. downfield. Um, boy, we go up 17-14, and that was just a big-time run, and give a lot of credit to that offensive line. They played well all night long. Well, you know, as, as much as we love big pass plays, uh, there's nothing quite to just give steam to a team when you got a running back like Barry. I think he had a 47-yard run in this game, and that was a 30, 35-yard run. Well, back. again, him big and runs. Brady have yeah. been a, a good, uh, yeah. you know, complement to one another. Brady's been banged up a little bit, so he didn't get the start. Um, but we're up 17-14, not much time left. T.J. Denson um, makes a – Forces the fumble, and old number 91 I.O., he gets in there and he, he recovers it. So we go right to work. Great play here, great effort. Pat Robertson, look at the hard running um, after the catch. Um, we come out, we run like a what we call a little slugger out. Hit Walter Powell for what we thought was a touchdown, nullified um, because of a holding call that, uh, of course, I didn't agree with it <laughs> whatsoever. Only holding call on the day. Um, so we got to come right back to work. And here um, on a third and long, we, we, we try to go back to the same play. Um, but so we go into halftime, 17-14. Um, I, I thought that the, the blue jerseys and the blue pants, all blue, look good with the gold helmets. With a little change up, try to change up the mojo a little bit, Dave. And well, it, was, it, it seemed to work. It was good. It was the first time the Racers had won all award in all blue since his first game, 2010. So that was kind of a nice uh, thing on Saturday afternoon. So the racers made it to the half. We got the second half highlights coming up in just a moment on the Racer Report with head coach Chris Hatcher. Like the thoroughbreds we are named for, racers 
are spirited and proud. We have the heart and will to succeed, to go farther, learn more, and embrace wisdom. We are champions who take our place in the Murray State tradition. We are racers. Roof Brothers, a Paducah tradition for 100 years. Roof Brothers, locally owned, family run. Roof Brothers, the best selection of beer, wine, and spirits found anywhere. Roof Brothers, service from selecting that special beverage for that special occasion to a keg party at the lake. Roof Brothers, two locations to serve you. Roof Brothers, proud supporters of Murray State Athletics. Hi folks, welcome back to the Racer Report with head coach Chris Hatcher. You want to see something fun? Let's roll the second half highlights of the Racers' big victory over Tennessee State. The Racers really got rolling here, coach. Uh, as we go along here, I think it was two touchdowns in 82 seconds, 27 points in just under 11 minutes of clock time. Well, we came out, um, we ran a, a little screen play the first play. Same one Walter had scored on early, got a great block um, out wide, I think by Navar Griffin and right side of the offensive line. And, um, you know, we just kind of became the Walter Powell show on this drive. We hit him again on a little dig route. Um, unfortunately, um, we stalled, settled for a field goal, but man, coming out and getting points um, early in the, on the first drive is big. So we're up 20 to 14, and then our one special teams blunder here. We got a couple guys out of position, and they make a great return, but tell you what, great hustle here by Jordan Benton, 42, um, and then old Doc there. Um, he, he gets in know, there and didn't make the tackle, but he slowed him oh, up. Oh, well, he would have made it, he yeah. told me, but he was there. <laughs> and, um, you know, here, here just great execution. Good hustle by Adrian Dinkins, 55. Um, they come in, they run the sneak. Now we're down 21 to 20, um, all because of a, just a, a missed assignment there on a kickoff team. Okay, so the racers go back to work here. Brockman gets sacked. I think it was a maybe only two sacks of the day or one sack? Yeah, maybe. and that was a kind of a, a play action deal that um, that was kind of a miscue. And then we get a great pump by Mix. I really thought it was a fumble. I've slow mowed it several times. Um, maybe, it, maybe he was down, I don't know. But um, we got him backed up. We bring the all out blitz on him. And one thing you can't do when you, you go cover zero is you let the QB out of the pocket. Um, we had a defense in, go inside, didn't keep contained, or we would have had a safety. So. Um, you know, all of a sudden, you know, it's 21-20. Um, we got them pinned on the half-yard line. Um, we miss a chance for a, a sack there. They go in and score, and it's like, goodness gracious, we're just snake bit and can't get over the hump. 28-20 at this point. Well, the air came out of Stewart Stadium, but I want you to know, Coach, I tweeted that I would be very surprised if the response from this team wasn't great. Well, we did. And it's and, about that time. There you go. Well, that was a big play there. We, we, like you said, we had to punt the previous possession. Um, great play between Casey Brockman and Javante Trotter um, to get us started. You know, the big thing with our offense is to get that first first down. Um, we come down and then third and goal. Jamal Berry punches it in. Um, we decide to go for two. It's 28-26 at this time, and um, and, and we actually. Guess make the two-point conversion. They call us for an ineligible man downfield, which, again, um, I did not agree with. So we settle for the extra point. So it's a one-point deficit for the racers at this time. So now we're going to the fourth quarter, and uh, they talk about yards after the catch. Is there anybody better than your group of receivers, especially Walter Powell there? They're pretty good about it. And Boy. as many short passes as we have, they need to be. Um, but we had a big stop by the defense, and – um, there's Janowski Davis, and I, I thought he got in on that one. Um, true freshman, Mobile, Alabama. Walter had been a little tired. Um, we come out, um, good little play there, and um, and actually um, that was the two-point conversion. I believe Casey had run a quarterback sneak well, what, in the what play happened before. Well, what happened you guys run plays too fast, and our camera guy oh, we missed that. he couldn't get down there in time. So well, well that, that's okay. <laughs> yeah, but we, Casey scored. Um, so. Um, you know, at the time there, so that actually made it, um, I think, 35-28. 35-28, yeah. and then uh, the interception by Julian Whitehead on the pit, uh, picked pass, and then you guys go back to work. This was the really the whole turning point of the game here is you survived the letting them out of the hole, and then you got the interception, and, 
and scored two touchdowns in about a minute 22 o'clock. Yeah, what a great run here by Jamal Berry. And, um, he breaks a few tackles, gets run down there on the five-yard line, and then we come out of here. We're trying to throw a post pat to Pat Robertson, but they do a good job of covering it. Casey comes to a second man, Javante Trotter, a senior, Tampa, Florida, and um, Benton kicks it through the uprights, and all of a sudden, hey, we're up 14 points, and, um, and boy, our guys are, um, they are really, really um, hunting a big win at this point. Okay, so it's 42-28. Both teams had to punt. Now we go back to TSU with 6-10 to go. This game isn't out of, out, of, out of reach yet for TSU, but the racers just pin their ears back. Uh, Jeremy Brackett was back there. Tyler Evans had a big game. You got pressure on the quarterback all day. Yeah, for the first time in a long time with our front forward. Well, here's a good one. They get them in a tight punt. Walter Powell gets some good blocks um, from a lot of different guys. And, <laughs> Well, we just need to watch this. And I mean, runs it in, and they call us for a holding. Uh, like again, at the eight yard line. Yeah, kind of questionable there. <laughs> and, but Barry runs it in. And actually, after this series of events played out, you know, you look back, and it was really probably better that it got called back because we were able to run some more time off the clock. We're up 21. Um, our defense holds, has a great stand. Um, Kadarius Sanders, Josh Manning play two great fade balls in the end zone um, for a big, big win. And, you know, we, we did it in the fourth quarter, something we've had trouble with this season. Um, but, you know, we beat a good football team. And, um, you know, after the game, people go, well, they weren't quite that good, weren't quite good. Hey, they were 18th ranked team in the country, and, um, yeah. and we, we, we put it on them. 49-28, and the racers in the game with 29 straight points. And their uh, quest now for a winning season is still intact. We're going to take a break, we'll come back and hear some of the post game's comments next on the Racer Report. Explore a new world. You can see a lot of experiences. Come and make your own place. 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 Murray State University, your world to explore. Brothers, a Paducah tradition for 100 years. Roof Brothers, locally owned, family run. Roof Brothers, the best selection of beer, wine, and spirits found anywhere. Roof Brothers, service from selecting that special beverage for that special occasion to a keg party at the lake. Roof Brothers, two locations to serve you. Roof Brothers, proud supporters of Murray State Athletics. Everybody. Welcome back to the Racer Report with Head Coach Chris Hatcher. We've got some post-game comments now after the Racers' big 49-28 win against Tennessee State. We'll start off with quarterback Casey Brockman. I think it's just a, t a testament to the guys, you know, fighting till the end of the to the, end of the season. You know, they you know, we know we only have two more games left now, and there's no sense of you know just you know, hey, whatever. We got two more games. We'll just kind of pack it in. You know, last year Tennessee Tech, this year um, with these guys, and it's one of those things you kind of want to ruin. You know, you know our. Our goals and stuff have been ruined by other teams. You, you want to ruin other, you know, other teams' goals they have have set forth. Yeah, I really do. I feel we um, really almost played a complete game. Um, we we all had fun out there. Uh, we made big plays in special teams, offense and defense. So we really came together as a team. Yeah, I feel great. Like um, like I said, I'm just thankful for my second chance to be here, be a racer, and um, have my opportunity to play football again. Um, and I'm just doing exactly what the coaches say, making my right reads and 
everything will go from there. But <clears throat> like I said, I'm giving thanks to my team and the offense. Casey passing the ball, open more lanes for the running game. And since we wasn't one, one dimensional, kind of um, the defense was all on their toes about what we was going to do, pass, run, run, pass. So we kind of got the best of them today. Well, great comments there, uh, not only from Casey Brockman uh, and Julian Whitehead, but also Jamal Berry. Uh, Coach, he's fit in really well here uh, coming over from Ohio State. And we kind of knew in the summer uh, or towards the end there when he got to school that he really hadn't played in a year. He's just now starting to get get himself back in a football shape. No doubt about it. He, you know, he's a fine talent. Um, you, you're not that highly rated coming to high school if you don't have you don't have yeah. some skills. And, and, and we knew that. And he worked hard to get himself eligible here. Came in a little out of shape, you know, unsure. I mean, um, you know, this is a great place, but – it's a lot different than being Ohio right, State, right, right. and um, and so he had to kind of fill himself around whatnot. Once he got in shape, learned the system. Um, Brady was hurt. He comes in, gets his first start of the season. Boy, he made the most of it and played a well of a game. Yeah, 156 yards rushing for Jamal Berry and three touchdowns. We're gonna take another break here on the Racer Report. Come back and take a look ahead to this week at Eastern Kentucky next on the Racer Report. Roof Brothers, a Paducah tradition for 100 years. Roof Brothers. Locally owned, family run. Roof Brothers, the best selection of beer, wine, and spirits found anywhere. Roof Brothers, service from selecting that special beverage for that special occasion to a keg party at the lake. Roof Brothers, two locations to serve you. Roof Brothers, proud supporters of Murray State Athletics. Murray State University, your world to explore. Hey, racer fans, don't forget to check out GoRacers.com. It should be your homepage for any racer fan. All kinds of stuff going up, including Coach Hatcher's Monday press conference is always posted Monday afternoon on GoRacers.com. Uh, you can also see highlights of this game and you watch this show anytime you want, right, Coach, on, on GoRacers.com. <laughs> well, what else would you do? I don't know. I don't know what else. You're racers fan, that's where you need to be. Well, Coach, uh, uh, the racers going to EKU. Uh, and five straight wins over Tennessee State. It seems like every team has one team that you kind of you kind of have their number, but then there's another team that maybe has your number a little bit. It's been a while since the Racers have been able to, to defeat EKU and much less go to Richmond and win. They've got a fine ball club, and they've had a great season too in, in the hunt for the championship. Well, there's no, no question they got a good football team. They're very well coached. You know, last season they made the playoffs. Um, they're one of our biggest rivals, if not really the biggest rival that we have um, because we're the only two state schools that still are in the OVC, yeah. you know, with Western and getting out and, and, and whatnot. So um, it's a big task. We haven't had much success in Richmond. Um, if I'm not mistaken, I believe they've beaten us 10 out of the last 11 it's, it's, times. It's a bunch. It's um, a bunch. And, you know, in the first year we got beat by seven. Last year we got beat by one. Um, but, again, it's just a mental thing. You know, you look around, and, and, and most of our defeats since I've been here have been against Jacksonville State and Eastern Kentucky and Tennessee Martin. And, and what it comes down to is our guys have to believe they can beat those guys. We knew we were going to beat Tennessee State. Our guys just believed that they were going to make that happen. And sure enough, it did. We have to do a good job this week of believing that we can go to Richmond and win. And if we do that, 
I believe we'll play well, and I believe we got a chance to come home with a big win. Well, we're going to look forward to it. Noon kickoff on Saturday. It'll be on Racer Radio and Racer TV this week. we got our final break here with Chris Hatcher. We'll come back and wrap it up in just a moment. Like the thoroughbreds we are named for, racers are spirited and proud. We have the heart and will to succeed, to go farther, learn more, and embrace wisdom. We are champions who take our place in the Murray State tradition. We are racers. Roof Brothers, a Paducah tradition for 100 years. Roof Brothers, locally owned, family run. Roof Brothers, the best selection of beer, wine, and spirits found anywhere. Roof Brothers, service from selecting that special beverage for that special occasion to a keg party at the lake. Roof Brothers, two locations to serve you. Roof Brothers, proud supporters of Murray State Athletics. Back to wrap it up here with head coach Chris Hatcher on the Racer Report. Just a great win for the Racers, 49-28 uh, against Tennessee State Saturday. Uh, coach, you, you always say, I, I love the saying that you that you came up with, nothing like being a racer on a Saturday night after a big victory. Well, it, it was a, a good night, wasn't it? It really <laughs> was. You know, it was just a great day all the way around. Had wonderful weather for this uh, time of the year. 11 a.m. kick, I loved it. No doubt. I loved it. it, it Maybe just a tad early, but at the end of the game, we all felt for, good. I would settle for noon. <laughs> you know, I, I came in Sunday, and I told the staff, um, boy, if you can't be fired up today, you need to get out of coaching. Hey, had an early game, big win over a top-ranked opponent. Um, the weather was great. You know, we had a good crowd for, you know, the season we're having and an early start. Um, crowd was awesome, and it really picked our boys up with the, the standing ovation we got as we ran off the field. Um, the, you, the clock turned back an hour, so you got an extra hour <laughs> of sleep. You know, we were at home, and I was at home at 5 o'clock. Well, I, was, I was doing yard work. Well, that was Saturday. after going around seeing all the people tailgate and thanking them for coming out to the game. Got a great night's sleep, and, you know, here we go. Got to rack it up again. Big game um, on the road, and, and this is the game I've been talking about. We have to be able to beat the EKUs, the Jacksonville States, and the Tennessee Martins in order to be the type of program if, that we want to have. If you're going to improve your standing in the league, you're going to have to win one of these. That's right, That's and right. hopefully it'll happen this week. All right, Coach. Good, Thank you, Dave. Good luck to you. We'll see you next time on the Racer Report. And as we leave you today, here's the voice of the racers, Neil Bradley. Shows what a lot of hard work can do. Brotman in the pocket, throws right side on a slant play. Caught Powell inside the five, dives into the end zone. Touchdown! Second effort gets in for Walter Powell. Snap back to Brotman, hand off to Barry. He has the first down and more. He's across the 20, 15, 10, 5, and he is gone for the touchdown. 35 yards, and the Racers take the lead. Goes to Barry. Barry down into the end zone for the touchdown. For a moment, I thought he was going to be stopped short, but a second effort takes it on in for the score. Brotman looking to throw. Throws, it is caught in the end zone by Trotter for the score, and it's 30 or 41 to 28. Hands it to Barry. Barry into the end zone for the touchdown, and the Racers put six more on the board. It's 48 to 28.